Alright you guys, what up? Today I'm going to show you guys how to go through a mod to your card World War Asso. This is really easy to do. First thing you need is you're going to need a rip of the Asso of World War. I'm going to go ahead and open up AVGX360 and I'll have all these programs in the side that you'll need by the way. So first thing you need to do is have your Asso burn from World War. Um, if you don't know any sites to check out, check out Xbox 360 Asso, Demonoid, your user on there, um, Power Bay, there's a lot of places to check out. Just make sure you get a good rip. And um, basically, you've been using ABGX for to basically patch and verify, make sure this is a good rip. So once you have ABGX opened up, make sure you have all your settings to see what's mine. I'll just click through the tabs, and you can just pause the video. I'm not gonna go through this. All right, and then you're gonna click the little open files folder right here. Open the file, and then wherever you have your recorded assholes, um, save that, open that up. All right, wait for it to go through all the patches and everything. I'm not gonna hit open and. Yeah, once you have it open, you'll click launch. You know, pretty simple. All right, it should take about a good two minutes. Whenever it's done, you can exit that that out. And where you saved it before, you, if you didn't have a .dot DVD, you should already have a .dot DVD. And um, don't mess with that. But yeah, just leave that there. All right, next thing you're gonna need to do is open up your WX360. All right, just open mine up right now. And um, once you have it opened up, just click file, open, and wherever your ISO from World of War opened up, open that up. Wherever you saved World of War ISO, open that up in WX360. And now we're gonna go through edit some files and let's go through and show you guys how to do this. So first thing you need to do is go ahead and go to your default MP. No, well not your default MP, sorry. Your default dot XCX. You went in and right click it and you're gonna hit extract file. I already extract it, so we can leave that there for right now. Next thing you need to do is go down to your code post. Or go up to your code so code post, I mean. And you'll wanna click the code post GF GFX dot FF and you'll wanna click replace replace file. So once you replace it, what you're going to need to replace it with, by the way, is the file that we said, uh, that you'll, well, basically, I have a big pack of downloads, I have it below, and you'll get this in there, and this is Andrew's modded copos from Gay Touch, so a big shout out to him for making this pretty co cool, awesome co copos, so wherever you have it saved at, you're going to replace that, mine's right here, alright, copos underscore, code underscore post underscore dfx dot ff, there you go, alright, so, hit open, uh, replace that. The next thing we're going to replace is in the Nazi Zombies. It'll be the Nazi Zombie Prototype .ff. So we'll hit, go down and replace file, and right there, Nazi Zombie Nazi underscore Zombie underscore Prototype .ff, and it's right there. Just make make sure everything get matched up. You don't want to mess anything up. Hit open. Wait for this to get done. It's gonna take a little bit. Not very long. Pretty simple. All right. Next thing we're gonna do is go back go back to the default XEX. That you already extracted before, or you're gonna replace it and replace it from the with the original one that you extracted from before. So just hit open, and replace it, and then whenever it's done, um, and pretty much that's pretty much it. Now you can exit WX360 out, and now we're, we're gonna want to go ahead and open up um, ABGX360 again. So let me go and open up this. And um, by the way, I don't know if I said this in the beginning, but you don't need a JTAG to do this. But you will need to uh, know how to hot swap. And that having enough time left in this video, I'll go ahead and add that on there with my camera. So go ahead and open up your ISO again. Launch it. Alright, checking game CRC. And I'll pause the video and I'll be right back whenever this is done. Alright, so I just went through and patched, um, went through ABGX, and by the way, let you guys know, you guys, you probably don't have to go ahead and through do this, as I just found, but, um, it pretty much showed up an error, because it said the game, it so showed that something was modded in ISO, which, you know, you did mod something in ISO, so, you won't need to go through, mom, go through ABGX if you don't want to, but I just went ahead and do it just to patch, just, you know, just to verify and still patch it, even though I'm not playing on a flash to Xbox. So, what you're gonna need to do now is open up, X, um, what is it, image run, so open up your image run, Make sure you have your dual layered DVD into your Xbox. I mean, not your Xbox. Well, look at me, I'm crazy. Into your computer. Sorry about that. So I'm only gonna pop one of these little bad boys in here. By the way, if you don't know what dual layered disc are, it's basically what like all standard Xbox 360 games are. It's just it ha holds up to 8.5 gigabytes. So that's what you're burning your game on. So I'm gonna go and pop this into my disc drive right now on my computer. All right. Now, while you're doing this, what you're going to need to do is go to and click on the Tools tab, then go to Settings, and we're set, you're going to click on the right, and then right here where it says Options Layer Break for DL Media, or Media, or vice versa, whatever, you're going to click on User Specified, and make sure it says this right here. It has to be this, because this is their 
this is just like their sector and layers that they have for their uh, Microsoft Game Disk. So what it is is one nine one three seven six zero. So once that's done, you can just go ahead and hit OK and save the settings. All right, now you're gonna now you're gonna go ahead and hit write image file to disk. And you're gonna go ahead and click the um, little magnifying glass that's on top of the folder. You can probably barely see that, but I have a pretty good monitor, so I can see it pretty well. So click on that, and then wherever you have your game saved as, I'm gonna open it up. Um, right there. Now, as you can see, you got two files, right? You're probably gonna probably be like, oh my god, they're both the same thing. But um, as you can see, this is your asshole file. That's the one you modded. You're probably gonna think you wanna burn that one, but you don't. But this one's a dot DVD, so you're gonna wanna actually burn that one, and they both lead to the same thing. They both it's hard to explain, but they both sort of connected to each other. So just burn the one that says image file on it, or it'll say dot DVD, and it'll be only like one gigabyte or kilobyte, whatever the hell it is. So just open that up. All right, wait for it. And by the way, make sure your write speed is 2.4, no more than 2.4, unless you have a Blu-ray. Um, if you have a Blu-ray burner, then you can um burn it up pretty fast. All right, like I was saying, if you have a Blu-ray burner, you can go ahead and burn that pretty fast. Sorry about that. But um, I'll be right back. I'm going to burn the disc, and hopefully, I can try to move it to my camera to show you guys how to hot swap it. 